Thank you, everybody. Uh, scripture reading, finally, in Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not walk. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil, my cup rendered it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May God have blessing to the reading and hearing of his most holy word. Power. Power, Lord. Need your power. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Need your power. Power, Lord. Need your power. Power, Lord. Need your power. us all night that wake us up this morning with a portion of our health and strength. Realize there's no goodness of our own, but it's by your grace and by your mercy. This morning we pause to tell you thank you. Thank you, oh God, for how good you've been to us all through the week. Thank you, oh God, for watching over us, oh God. 
and we love you, for, love you for that. Oh God, we pray that you remember the sick and shame everywhere. Remember those that are in the hospitals, oh God. Remember those that are in convalescence homes. Pray, oh God, that you would touch and heal them out of the way. Remember those that are incarcerated, oh God, in prisons and institutions across this world and country. Pray, oh God, you would bless them, even in the state that they're in. Oh God, give them deliverance. God, we pray that you remember the bereaved families everywhere. Oh God, we pray, oh God, that you would comfort. Know your God of consolation. There's no failure in thee. Now we trust you, oh God. We look to the hills from which coming our help. Our help coming from thee. God, if you don't help us, we won't be helped. If you don't deliver us, we won't be delivered. Oh God, my eyes are upon thee. Now bless us this day. Remember the service, oh God. Remember our pastor. Remember the first lady. Oh God, bless them in the mighty way. Now we love you. We thank you. We commend all things into your hands. But we know your God that we'll do right. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. The following is the prayer list for the Greater Allen via AOA Church of God. These are those who have requested prayer or for whom prayer is being requested. Deacon Billy Hill, Mother Beatrice Marshall, Mother Lily Thomas, Reverend Irene Rafa, Reverend Nane Keel, Brother Patrick Manasseh, Mother Ruthie Hall, the family of Harold Irvin, Velma Thomas, Brother Marcus Page, Sister Rhonda Tart, Mother Shirley Jackson, the family of Leola Sam Samuels, Jacques Williams, Sister Sharon Pugh, D. Alexis Lockett, Bishop and Mother Tate, Elder Greer of Lexington, Mississippi, the Peterson, the Trotter, and the Page family. Please keep these families listed uh, as listed. Please keep them in your prayer as you go before the Lord. Please call their names out and keep them lifted up in prayer. I got something to tell you. I've got something to say. We all got to stand in that judgment one day. Might as well get ready. You got an answer. For all you've done Can't nobody Stand there for you Talking about no one You see You know what Mother can't stand, stand for you Father can't stand, stand for you, you. Sister can't stand for you. you. Not stand even your brother. brother. You gotta stand, stand there, there, right there. Personally, right personally, there, right there. Personally, you stand gotta there. stand right there, right there. Personally, right there. Personally, right there. don't let nobody fool. When you did, you done. Cause after this grave, as a judgment that's sure to come, every knee must bow, every tongue surely must confess, and can't nobody do it for you. Everybody got to. Take this test, you see, mother can't stand, stand for you, father can't stand, stand for you, sister can't stand, stand for you, not even stand your brother, you gotta stand, stand there, there, 
right there. Personally, right there. Personally, right there. Personally, you stand there. Stand right there.
putting my pain on God. God's gonna do it. God is faithful. Yeah, Lord, so say yeah, 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 y
The song said, get it right with God and do it now, right now. God is truly good, he's merciful, and he's kind. Hallelujah. No, God doesn't put his hand to anything that's bad. When he, when he does, he step back. Honey, I want you to know, you don't want God to step back. Step, you, you tell the Lord to stay present in your life. Tell God to be that unseen guest with you. And everything that you're doing. Once he step back, then the enemy will come in on you. Hallelujah. Yes, God is good, he's merciful, and he's kind. Today we don't want to hold you long, but we are uh, praising God for all things in Jesus' name. And then we have mixed emotions this morning. Lord, one of our dear sisters, Sister Boy, I want you to pray for that family. Pray for that husband and pray especially for his mother and those sisters. We know that God is able to do it and pray for the family. You know, I, I hear people call me, you know, from other places. They knew her. Yeah, they were from Mobile, but they called me. They knew her, you know. They was away. That's what I'm trying to say. They gave me a call to give uh, their condolences, you know, because she she been here ever since I was. You know, when I first came here, I found her here, and we thank God for her. You know, unlike so many, they be here and go somewhere else, but she have stuck with it. She have done, you know, what the Lord desired for her, you know, and it was just time for her to go. When it comes your time, I don't care how big the appointment may be. You may tell God, I got something else to do, Lord. But now it's your time. That appointment, we're all going to keep. Amen. We, we're going to try to sing a little of this song. Uh, those of you who can sing it, you have heard it before. You can kind of pick it up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God for the men singing this amen, morning. Amen. Keep on doing what you're doing. That's it. Yeah, don't worry about nothing else. Amen. Just, just sing. Amen. Sing to the glory of God. That's it. Amen. In times like these, you need a Savior. In times like these, you need a anchor. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor hold and grip a solid, solid rock. This rock is Jesus, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor hold and grip a solid, solid rock. This rock is Jesus. This rock is Jesus. So you be sure. Be very sure. Your anchor hold and grip a solid, solid rock. In times like these, you need a Bible. In times like these, you need a healer. Be very sure. Be very sure. Your anchor holds. And grip us out.
valley, a solid rock. This rock is Jesus. He's the one. This rock is Jesus. The very one. You be sure. Be very sure. Your anchor hold and drip a solid. A solid rock. This rock is Jesus. He's the one. This rock is Jesus. The only one. So you be sure. Be very sure. Your anchor hold and grip a solid. A solid rock. In times like these, I have a savior. In times like these, I have an anchor. I am sure. I'm very sure. I ain't go and drip a solid. I'm solid right. Amen, amen. Don't take me a time or two to get that one together. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is truly good. He's merciful and he's kind. I'm going to have to go back and get one of Bishop Phillips' old song books. You know, we still have those song books that he wrote. Yeah, I got two or three of them at home. I just go back and got to go and locate them. Yeah, we, he sold those books back in the 70s for about a, a dollar. And I want you to know the book still is together. God is truly good. You know, I uh, hear oftentimes folks speak... Uh, and say good things about Bishop Phillips and some folks say bad. But it takes about two or three of us to do the things that he did. Yes, he had a printing press. Uh-huh. And he had uh, shirt shops, photo lab. Mm -hmm. Then he had food upstairs. And, and, and that was uh, a college. Had it upstairs. At Philip Temple. Then he had uh, an old folks home. Now, I'm talking about the first one. That it, it looked, you know, just as good as anything that anybody would have anyway. Yeah, he, he was a great man. And we thank God for him. Amen. Thank God for his legacy is still going on. I, I have his books. And I thank God for it. Hallelujah. God is truly, he's a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. We're not going to hold you long today. But we thank God for the word of God. And we do want to bring you some word. <laughs> Bringing a little bit different. We've been talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord brought it to my mind to really try to give you just a little bit more on his different, you know, position that he had. Yeah. And this week we want to talk about him being the only Savior. Right. We, we hit the little when, when they were preaching on his name, but he, he is the only Savior. Yeah. I'm teaching like this because someone disturbed me. He, he, he tried to let me know that Jesus was just another mere man, but he, he's more than just a man, huh? Yeah, we know that. We, those of us who have received the gift of the Holy Ghost know that he's more than just a man. Those of us who received the Holy Ghost, we know who gave it to us. 
Huh? Ain't God a good God? Yes, he's truly, he's a good God. And we're trying to show you the point that Jesus is God. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about that. He is God. He is the only Savior. Those of you who are seeking for the Holy Ghost, know that he is the Savior. Not just Savior, but he is the Savior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. When we talk, when we talk about Savior, we're talking about one who saves. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Yeah, he's our Savior and Redeemer. Mm -hmm. He's the one that can save you. He can deliver you. First Timothy 1 and 15 tells us. Hallelujah. If you have it, you may read it. God is a good God. This is a faithful saying. The 1 Timothy 1 and 15. I want you sometime bring your notebook. Right. So you can write it down. Those of you who are listening to us. Amen. On the internet. Get your little notepad. That's the way we, we used to do in the earlier days. And write it down. We, we're trying to bring you the word of God make make it clear to you make it plain to you so many people they preach things but it's not so plain hallelujah I heard uh, someone teaching a lesson it made us look like we were somewhat doing wrong no we're not doing wrong by teaching in the parking lot we're not doing wrong by teaching on the street and preaching no uh uh because Jesus he taught folks in the desert place. Yeah. Fed 5,000 men besides children. Right. Then he fed, he fed some more on another occasion. Then you see him preaching on the seashore. Then at times you see him pull his disciples right. to the side. Yeah. And he went on the Mount of Olives sometimes. Hallelujah. He taught them what does say the Lord. He's taking Peter, James, and John up on the mountain. They went up there for a reason, but they seen some things. Is that right? God letting you know you can go on the mountain on the outside sometimes. You can do some things that out here in the open, sometimes you won't make, you may not be able to do it in the church. While I'm right here, I want to tell the minister, you be very careful with your people. Amen. This is a terrible virus. Folks are still dying from, from uh, uh, the corona. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you got this, this, this Delta stuff out there now. And they say it's worse than that. Amen. And in the hospitals, I went to the hospital and the leader, leader at the hospital encouraged me, she said, you, 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 you need to get your telephone minister more or less, okay. she was telling me, because this stuff is bad here now. Okay. And that time the lesson went on up, but I think the next time you weren't able to go. But nevertheless, we're talking about the only Savior. The only Savior. The main thing, folks, is get the word out. Hallelujah. Get God's word out. Don't let nobody fool you. And it's best you obey the voice of God. Somebody, somebody want to call me a line minister because I say I open. I was getting ready to. Open, I was getting ready to open the door. You know, in, in a week or two, the folks going to see that, you know, the machines I had bought to put in the sanctuary. I bought one for the front, one for the back. Hallelujah. They said, where you got that from? I, when, I, when I went by the hospital, they showed me. I seen it there. So I said, I'm going to buy one and put it in the church. This is going to help us. My intention was to come in. But the moment I did, I thank God for Jesus. How many thank God for Jesus? Thank God for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the Lord let me know that this virus is moving Amen. and it's taking people out. Hallelujah. We have seen evidence of it. Amen. We're praying and praying that it don't take anybody else. So I'm telling the ministers all over, you be very careful Amen. what you do. Don't let nobody fool you. You better listen to the voice of God. So this is a faithful sin. And worthy of all acceptation. That Christ Jesus came into the world. 
that Christ Jesus, listen, listen, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. To do what? To save sinners. To save sinners. Of whom I am chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Apostle Paul said he was chief. Well, right. To save sinners. Thank you, Lord. I thought that was chief, chief too. <laughs> See, we had a chief before me. Hallelujah. Thank God. Paul said he was one. And sometimes when you're a head leader in a thing, God will come in and save you out. Save you, Thank you Lord. for a purpose. Amen. Whether anybody ever follow you or not, you were saved for a purpose. Yeah. yeah. And it took it taken the Lord Jesus Christ to save you. Amen. Why? Because he is the only Savior. A lot of ministers preach down through the years and never come to know that Jesus is the only Savior. You need to tell your folk when they're again on the altar seeking for the Holy Ghost, look to Jesus. He is the author and finisher of our, of our salvation. Yeah, he is the one that can save you. He is the one that can deliver you. The preacher can't do it. Those people around the altar, you may pat them on the back, but they can't save you. Hallelujah. They can help you. We can coach you. But it takes the Lord to save you. Yeah, yeah. He is the only Savior. He saves some chiefs. And he saves some Indians also. God is able. How many know that he is the only Savior? And he's the one that you know. We read in Isaiah 43, 2 and 3. It'll tell you, hallelujah, about that Savior. Yeah, yeah, he was back there. That's why the scripture, the scripture tell you about, and they talk about the Lord Jesus Christ from Genesis to Revelation. You just got to be able to go into the Word and find it. Isaiah 43, 2 and 3 says, God said, when I pass it through the wall, he said, he'll be with you. And through the river. The Bible said, they shall not overflow thee. When I walk it through the fire, God said, you won't be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. Listen to what God said. He said, for I am the Lord thy God. The Holy One of Israel. Thy Savior. He said, thy Savior. I gave Jesus for thy See, he let you know that he was what? The Savior. Yeah, yeah. Even back then. This is talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I say he is the only Savior. Right. He the one that would take you through things. Right. And he'll bring you out. And he'll bring you out safe every time. Yeah, yeah. God is a good God. Amen. He said what well, he is. The only Savior. He said he's the Holy One of Israel. He said, Thy Savior. And I want you to know you got to start looking up to him as being the Savior. He's the one that you need. He's the one that you need to bring you out of whatever you need. Hallelujah. If you need a better life, he'll give you a better life. You need, hallelujah. You, you, you need uh, to be brought up, hallelujah, from poverty, he's able to do that. He is your Savior. In every aspect of your life, you need Jesus. Isaiah 43 and 10 tell us, hallelujah. He said, you are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant. We are considering to be God's servant. I don't know about you, but that's all I want to be, is a servant. I don't have to be uh, the chief. Uh-uh. I can be an Indian. Don't make me no different. I just want to be saved. What about you? I just want to be saved. Somebody don't, if, they, if they're not head the thing up, if they're not leading, uh, they don't, they don't want to be a part of it. Hallelujah. I, it don't make me no different. As long as I know the Lord. 
I want to do the folk really know God now. How to do? You need to study the scripture. You need to go in the scripture and know who he is. How to, once you find out who God is, the only thing you're going to really want is salvation. Now, let me tell you about all these big folk who got a whole lot. They head leaders and what have you. Leading things. It's good to have a leader. You need a leader. Yeah, we, we're not preaching against leaders. But some folks are all wrapped up and tied up in this. Let me tell you, Bishop Phillips said it's bad. If you see a man walking down the street, he don't have a head. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> he, he be going place aimlessly. He don't know where he's going, running and bumping into things. It's good to have a head. Hallelujah. Because every leader, I want you to know you're going to be judged. Yes, sir. And you're going to be judged hard too. Hallelujah. You're responsible. Uh -huh. uh, that's why sometimes, you know, some of us don't care about responsibility. Uh, I'm, I don't want too much more. <laughs> hallelujah. Because when you're responsible, I want you to know that God, hallelujah, he's going to hold you. He's going to hold you responsible. You got to do everything right. Yeah, yeah. Right where I am, I got to do it right. Because I'm an under shepherd. And I thank God for it. The Bible tells us, uh, what, Isaiah 43 and 10, he said, you are my witnesses. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. And my servant. And my servant. Whom I have chosen. God said he have chosen you. Mm -hmm. That ye may know and believe. That ye may know and believe. And understand. And understand. The Bible said that I am He. Yeah. Before me, there was no God born. The Bible said before me, there was no God born. Neither shall there be after me. Neither shall there be after me. I, even I. I, even I. Am the Lord. Am the Lord. And beside me, and beside me there is no Savior. Hallelujah. You, you got to understand. If not with just one Savior. Yes, right. Just one Savior. I'm trying to show you today who that Savior is. Yes. Hallelujah. We already proved that Jesus is a Savior. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's that only Savior. Just that one Savior. Thank you, Jesus. And we need to let the folks know uh -huh. that he is that one Savior. I better hit this right now. We talk about it all the time, but not in this perspective. Acts 4 and 12. Hallelujah. Acts 4 and 12, let us know. Leave Thank you, Jesus. Salvation. Listen, listen. Listen to what the Word says. We're talking about the only Savior. He said, neither is there salvation in any other. In any other. For, there is none other name. For there is none other name under heaven, under heaven given, among men. given among men, whereby we must be saved. Whereby we must be saved. There's no other name. You can call my name all you want to call. Yeah, yeah, you can call, uh, hallelujah, the chief apostle's name. You can call whoever name you want to call. But it's only one Savior. Hallelujah, one name that you can use to be saved. You ought to thank God that God left his name here for us. Whereby we can be saved. If you really want to be saved, all you got to do is call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whosoever, hallelujah, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Don't you want to be saved today? Know about you, but I want to be saved. I want the right Savior to save me. I want one of those false ones coming in. Jesus let you know it's only one Savior. That's one spiritual Savior. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. We're talking about him from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Ain't God a good God? Amen. Hallelujah. You ought to be glad about it. Uh -huh. John 3 and 17 through 18. Ain't God a good God? God yeah. Not his son into the, world. the Bible says, For God sent not the Son into the world. To the world. He didn't come the first time. To condemn the world. Are you glad about it? Yeah. He came here as a savior. Yeah, he came the first time as a savior. He didn't send his son into the world. To condemn the world. But the world through him. But the world through him. Might be saved. 
might be saved. He that believe it on him is not condemned. But he that believe it not is condemned already. The Bible says he's condemned already. Why? Because he has not believed of the only begotten He have not believed in what? In the name of the only He have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, he was God and he was a son at the same time. I'm going to leave that alone. I preached about that already. Yeah, the spirit. Yeah, it was the God. Mm -hmm. And I put it like this, make it plain for you. The flesh was the son. The spirit was in that son. The spirit was in that flesh. Only God's spirit was in Jesus. To wit is to know that God was in Christ. Reconciling the world to himself. God is a good God. I wish you knew it. Like I know it. Hallelujah. You ought to be glad that God didn't send Jesus here to condemn the world. But he brought a word of salvation. A word of salvation. And I want you to know that word is still good. Come on, say yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Luke 19 and 10. Thank you, Jesus. I need to go and get through. The Bible says, for the Son of Man. What? Luke 19 and 10. Amen. For the Son of Man is come. For the Son of Man is come. For the Son of Man is come. To seek uh -huh. and to save that which was lost. That which was lost. Yeah. We all was lost. Yeah. The Bible said we all we like sheep. Yeah. It's gone of straight. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. You ought to be glad that God put it on him. Because you couldn't take it. You couldn't stand it. Hallelujah. Then the word tells us, with his stripes, we are healed. How many feel like you're healed? Yeah. Then with his stripes, we are healed. When God save you, you're healed. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad that Jesus is the living God. Those of you who are still in doubt about him. Uh, let me bring you a little bit closer. Maybe I can help a little. Thank you, Jesus. In Luke 2 and 11, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the Bible tell us, for unto you is born this day in the city of David. This day in the city of David. A savior. A who? A savior. A savior. Which is Christ the Lord. Those of you who wonder, the Bible keeps telling you over and over that he is the Savior. Ain't God a good God? I don't know about you, but I believe what the Word of God is saying. Hallelujah. If I can bring you a little closer. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Timothy 1 and 10. I'm trying to go somewhere now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Timothy 1 and 10 says, But now, Hallelujah. It's made manifest. It's made manifest. By the of our Savior but Jesus Christ. Listen, listen, listen real quick. Now, made manifest by the appearance of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Who had abolished death. Who, who abolished, who got rid of death? Jesus Christ. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't God a good God? Hallelujah. He's the one that got rid of death. Only God could do this. Thank you, Jesus. Only God can bind the enemy. Only God can get rid of him for good. It's not time for him to get rid of him for good. The last enemy to destroy is death. Ain't God a good God? Jesus already abolished 
He's already set. Hallelujah to go the other way. He's already set to go down in the pit. Never to come up again. Amen. Ain't God a good God? Amen. Hallelujah. Not only that. What else he said, daughter? Okay. And it brought life. And, and it brought life. And immortality. And immortality. To life through the God. Those of you who get saved. God going to bring you everlasting life. No end to life. No end. Hallelujah. Going to be an end to death. But no end to life. God is bringing immortality. Hallelujah. Immortality means you'll never die anymore. Amen. No about you. But I'm glad for Jesus. I want all you glad for him. Hallelujah. You ought to be glad for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he's given us life yes. eternity. Amen. Life forever. Hallelujah. When he come back again. How many know he's on his way back? Yes. He's coming back for a church without spots or wrinkles or any such thing. First Timothy 14. It says, for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God. Because we trust in the living God. Listen, you better catch this. Because we trust uh -huh. in the living God. Who is the Savior Wait of a minute. I better slow that down. <laughs> because we trust in who? The living God. I have proved to you yes, that Jesus is Savior who trusts in the living God. Who is the Savior of all men. Of all men. Especially of those, of those that believe. That believe. Amen. This is talking about Jesus. Yes, sir. Did y'all catch that? Amen. Hallelujah. Let me hit that again. Right. Yes, Lord. Uh, I want you to know that he is a great God. Yes, sir. And our Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, he is the one. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. He's on his way back. He's on his way back for church without spider wrinkle. Who is the Savior of all men? Who is the Savior of all men? Thank you, Jesus. How many know that Jesus is the Savior of all men? Thank you, Jesus. He is that great God. Mm-hmm. He is the living God who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. Amen. Yeah, if you don't believe, he still is your God. Amen. This world belongs to him. Uh -huh. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Thank God. Titus 2 and 13. Yes. Yes. I got to get out of here, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Titus 2 and 13. To look for the blessed hope, for the blessed hope. And, the glorious appearing and the glorious appearing of the great God. Wait a minute, him. Y'all yes, yes. mark that in your Bible. Yes, sir. Who we, who we waiting on? We waiting on Jesus. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. The Bible says we're looking for the glorious appearance uh -huh. of the great God. And our Savior, Jesus and Christ. And our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is talking about Jesus. Told you. He's the only Savior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the only God. He's that great God. Uh -huh. He's God and Savior. Yeah. Come on, that's what that's telling you. Yeah. That He's God and Savior. Ain't God a good God? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. There's no salvation and no other name but His name. Thank you, Jesus. And you ought to be glad about it. God is coming back. And he's on his way, way back right now. I don't know about you, but I want to know him. Yeah, I want to know him. And the power of his resurrection. When you get to know him in the Bible, nobody won't be able to fool you. They can't trick you no more. Yet Jesus is our Savior. I don't know about you, he's the one that saved me. 
I don't give nobody the credit. All right. But the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus. He is our God yes, and our Savior. Come on, say yes. yes Luke tell us that he's a Savior that was born, hallelujah, in Bethlehem. Yeah, Jesus, he's a Savior that we ought to believe in. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, if you don't believe, then you're worse than the devil. Yes, James 2 and 19 tells us the devil believe and tremble. I mean, no, you're worse than the devil. Yeah, right. If you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah. he knew that he was God. The devil asked him on one occasion, have you come to terminus uh -huh. before time? Ain't God a good God? Yeah, because he realized who Jesus was. He's the one yeah, going to put him in the bottomless pit and put a seal on him. Come on, say yes. Yeah. He's trying to get rid of the enemy and trying to save you. Right. Hallelujah. But a lot of us don't have in our minds uh -huh. that we want to be saved. Yeah. All you got to do is come to God. Yeah. If you come to him, uh, he would know why. Turn you away. Yeah, come on, say yeah. yeah Way right. back in Chronicles. Uh -huh. First Chronicles 17. You can read it in 20. It tells us that God said, there's no God beside him. Ain't God a good God? I want you to know that it's not two or three gods. There's no God above him. There's no God really that is beneath him. He is the only God. Come on, say yeah. Uh, sometimes we tell you, uh, yes, uh, every God is beneath him. But I want you to know uh, that he is uh, the only God. Yeah. Come on, say yes. Yeah. Uh, he's your only redeemer. Uh, he's your only savior. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he is your only door. Uh, he's your only way out. Uh, come on, say yes. Yeah. Uh, ain't God a good God? Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I'm glad uh, that I know him for my one self. Uh, Isaiah tells us, uh, Isaiah 42 and 8, uh, he said, I will uh, not give my glory, uh, not to another. Uh, ain't you glad about it? Uh, I'm glad uh, that God uh, won't give his glory uh, to me, uh, or my brothers, uh, or my sisters. Uh, come on, say yes. Uh, Oh, my spiritual brothers, uh, my spiritual sisters, uh, none of us, uh, he can hold his splendor uh, for himself, uh, hallelujah, uh, every praise, uh, it belongs to God, uh, come on, say it, yeah, yeah. if you got a praise, uh, you ought to lift up your voice uh, and praise uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, come on, say it, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want you to know, uh, on last week, uh, we were preaching about uh, the only Lord. Uh, yeah, Jesus uh, is the Lord. Uh, he's the Lord uh, in the Old Testament. Uh, he's the Lord uh, in the New Testament. Uh, say yes. Uh, when David said uh, that the Lord is uh, my shepherd. Uh, he was talking about uh, the Lord uh, and Savior uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, come on, say yes. Uh, ain't God a good God. Uh, Mark talked about it. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he let us know uh, that Jesus uh, is that one God. Uh, he said, he is uh, the Lord our God uh, is one. Uh, come on, say yes. Uh, he's not two, uh, but he's one. Uh, come on, say yes. Uh, you need him uh, early in the morning. Uh, you need him uh, late at night. Uh, come on, say yes. Uh, if you need him, uh, to see your way, uh, the Lord heals uh, my light uh, and my salvation. Now, uh, whom uh, shall I see? Now, uh, whom shall I be afraid? Uh, come on, say yes. Uh, don't fear nobody. Uh, come on, say yes. Uh, because Jesus, uh, I said, Jesus uh, have all authority. Uh, he have all power uh, in his hand. Uh, he went out. Uh, on yonder cross, uh, they nailed him, uh, God from heaven, uh, to the cross, uh, nails uh, in his hand. Uh, 
spikes up in his feet. Uh, come on, say yes. Uh, pierced him in the side. Uh, and out of the side uh, came blood and water. Uh, only Savior. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, without uh, the shedding of blood. Uh, there he has uh, no remission uh, of sin. Uh, somebody uh, ought to be glad that, that Jesus uh, shed his blood uh, for you and I. Say yes, that Jesus died on the cross for me. If it had not, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Say yes, somebody ought to give him praise. Somebody ought to give him glory. Say yes, don't you love him today? Don't you love him today? The only Savior, uh, he left his name, uh, I say he left his name uh, for you and me, uh, say yes, uh, if you want to be saved uh, today, uh, those of you uh, who are living in sin, uh, know that God, uh, I said know that God, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, your Redeemer, uh, hallelujah, uh, your way out, uh, the one uh, that we love, uh, come on say yes, uh, the one uh, that we call on, uh, that saved us, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, will, uh, I said he will save you, you call his name, thank you Jesus, he is the only Savior, thank you Jesus, those of you been tearing, you haven't received the Holy Ghost, you got to look to him, he is the one that will save you, he is Lord. Not only he is Lord, he's Savior. And not only is he Savior, but he's King. I'm going to bring you all these lessons. Yeah, he is the Holy One. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He is your Redeemer. Those are lessons. Those are lessons that you can teach and tell your people. And when you search it out, you'll find it all the way from Genesis to Revelation. Ain't God a good God? You need him, and you need him right now. Amen. I say you need him, and you need him right now. Don't turn him away. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man open, he said, He'll come in and sup with you, and you with him. I'm going to move out the way we got our person that's going to pray for you. We just hope you got a thought today. We try to bring it in a way that you would understand it and know that Jesus is the one. He's you all and in all. He is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you right now, yes, Jesus. Lord. We thank you for how you yes. blessed us, Lord Jesus. How you kept us all week long, Jesus. We thank you right now, Jesus. We thank you for your touch of love, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for how you blessed us, Jesus. How you kept us, Lord. We need you right now, Jesus. We need you, Lord Jesus. We need you to heal the land, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we need you to bless those that are bereaved right now, Jesus. Touch their hearts, Jesus. Touch their minds, Jesus. Ease their pain, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, bless those that are sick and afflicted, Jesus. Keep them in the center of your will, Jesus. Keep them, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to go into the hospitals, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, touch those that are sick and afflicted. Touch those that take care of the sick, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to bless our pastor, Jesus. We ask you to bless Mother Candice, Lord Jesus. We ask you to bless the choir, Jesus. Bless the deacon voice, Jesus. Bless your people here, Jesus. Under the sound of our voice, Jesus. Bless them right now, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you, Jesus. We need you right now, Jesus. 
Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless those that are on the prayer list, Jesus. Bless them right now, Jesus. You know their needs, Lord Jesus. Meet every need, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done in our lives, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Lord Jesus, you, Jesus. have mercy right now, Jesus. Have mercy, Jesus. We need your mercy right now, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Keep us in the sin of your heel, Jesus. Lord, let us continue to have church, Lord Jesus. Lord, let the church be in us, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, just your help. Teach your people this ain't no show. This is real, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. These and all blessings we thank you right now, Father. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen.